Welcome back, guys. I'm Mellow7. This is Football Manager 2018. And bask upon the glory that is the competition table there. We are solidly in third place right now. We've got a match against Fram Larvik today, but even if we were to lose it, we will hang on to our third place. So no pressure. Granted, if they score more than, you know, five goals, then maybe we lose it. But for the moment, I think we're okay. So let's take a look, see how we got there, what's going on. Um, and um, Lauren Skog maybe is the one you guys saw. That sounds right. Of course, it was a loss. So that's probably the one we televised. Now, we had an 0-3 just whooping by Moss. They just laid the beat down on us there. Um, we were never in this. It wasn't close. This shot was our last shot of the game. It was actually a pretty, pretty awesome screaming shot in from... Um, from uh, running, I think, there towards the very end. But no, you can see we were we were terrible. So um, we deserved it. But we kind of bookended it with a 3-0 and a 3-0. And we've got this extra little 2-0 against Alta here. So against Finn's Ness, uh, who when we count on it, we can't beat. But generally, we do pretty well against. You know, we played great. You can see Adi Berg had a great game. He had a goal there. And uh, running had two uh, goals there, which was great. Had a brace, one in the 70th, one in the 40th, and then Berg just kind of capped off the embarrassment there with the last one there. Uh, against Alta, uh, Ronning had another one at the 33rd, and Ingbertson, who we brought in, he's been asking for some more play time, so we've tried to work him into a couple games. He uh, got a goal there in the 88th minute, so they also both got yellow cards, so a little bit interesting there. Uh, and then against Garud, I didn't really have expectations for this um, but we played great and Dolly got a hat trick um, all in the second half we were trying to screw around with some stuff again we were trying to work Engbertson in we'd run him back at defensive midfielder the game before because uh, of an injury but then we swapped him back up to um, to a winger to see if we could use him because he in theory that's what he is um, let's see where squad so if we take a look at Ingbertson, you know, he's supposed to be, you know, I think mid-right, yeah, is what he likes. Def defensive midfielder or, or mid-right. He just doesn't have the acceleration to work out there very well, I don't think. I think that's really the problem. Um, but we tried it out there. You know, we played him back here because Monson had a, had a little nag niggling injury from the previous game. So we put him in there, and then we swapped him up to here. And that ran horribly. It just was not right. And then what we did was... Uh, we moved Rune back to the left. Normally, we play him as an inside forward on the right. Um, but we moved him back to the right. And I think we threw... We moved... Um, must have been Johansson, who had been playing at defensive right, maybe. We moved him up to mid-right and subbed in Carlson. That's what we did. And once we did that, the game completely changed. And, and uh, you can see the result was... A hat trick from Dolly and uh, Rune just controlled that game uh, from the left side. Just was absolutely dominant there. Set up all these chances. Um, you know, we're only seeing a six nine here. That's not that's not accurate. He played spectacular in that second half, and we got two of the assists from Ronning over here. So he did his uh, his job as a target man. So that was excellent. So we've got Fran Marvick today there in fourth place right behind us. Tactic at the moment looks like this. We've still got Rune on the left. I moved him over there. Uh, he does like being a winger over there. Um, the problem is we had him over here because we don't really have anybody over there. Um, so what we're going to try to do, rather than run Johan Johansson over there, um, or Ingbertson, who failed miserably last time over there, we're going to try to run Helmuseth there. Now, in theory... He should be okay. He does actually play attacking midfield right. It doesn't say it there, but that is one of the positions he's comfortable at. And so we've slid him back a little bit. But you can see he's got the stats. He doesn't have huge pace, but he has good acceleration. He's aggressive. A lot of flaring off the ball, so he should work well out there. And he actually is a pretty good crosser, too. Um, his passing is not spectacular, but if we're just crossing it, we'll be okay. And he does have some finishing, so if he ends up in there... Great, you know, and he's got a great long shot at 14. So it's a way to get him worked into the game better. And, uh, you know, I might just start. I kind of think I want to maybe do this long term. Well, till the end of the season. Let's change that to a right winger right now. And we'll start training him up there. We'll see if we can get him comfortable there. And then if we have to swap him up, we can do that. Um, we also have um, 
we've got some youngsters that we could bring up as backups for striker too if we decide that's what we need so i think that's what we're going to kind of go with for the moment um i think we'll probably stay with our control uh match plan our, our standard one here use that and um yeah i guess that's kind of kind of it let's submit the team and see what happens here uh, let's take a look at the stat pack real fast we haven't looked at that in a little bit so now that we've got we've got a 3-0 we've got two of those and we've got an 0-3 so we've we've expanded their little bubble out here a little bit um but you can see now that we have won three against the top half that was a zero last time we looked at it uh, and against the bottom half of the table we've won seven so no losses against the bottom half of the table which is spectacular we've, we've given up a few draws um but you know that's the case and when scoring first we have all 10 of our wins so if we don't score first we don't win um you know uh we do get some draws but um we've never lost when scoring first interestingly enough when allowing the first goal we have all four of our losses so it's all about it's all about that that fast start for us so we'll know what happens here pretty quick it sounds like we just you know maybe that's determination um that's coming back that we just don't play from behind at all well um keep our run going set those in pep talk and uh so yeah a little bit of experiment today um We'll see how Helmuseth plays out there on the right wing. I don't know how involved he'll be. Number 12. Uh, no, that's their number 12. Let's see. Can we look at our formation? Um, information. Our number 11. Pretty close, though, right? And uh, we'll see how this goes. Slowly so far. No shots by either team. Uh, there we go. We got a shot finally. Number 10. So... Our striker from just outside the box, it looked like. It's a little bit of a long shot. All right. We got a... F had a free kick in. Hasselrud has it, though. He's going to start the uh, runs. Store soon down the right. That looks dangerous. Oh, my gosh. We make the initial stop, but Christofferson's there. That means we're going to lose this game, right? That's what this means. Um, we have never come from behind. We've given up the first goal, and that's it. We can go home now. We go up to an attack. Let's see what happens. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change tactics. We've never won a game doing this before, so let's let's try it now. There we go. We bring those guys up. They're both super comfortable there. Let's confirm the change, and let's see if it'll happen, because there's no way to get into match plans in the game, and sometimes it tends to take over. You try to make a change, and it just says, nope, and it just changes it back. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get away with it. It'd be nice if there was a way to just cancel match plans. So we're on attack. We moved our guys up. Possession is now beginning to go a little bit more towards them. So maybe let's move it back to control, um, but playing the more attacking formation. I think what we're going to do next is... Well, they may have lost Christofferson. Dolly's got the... Oh! Oh, my gosh. It goes in. I don't know if that hit the post or it was just a spectacular save. Um, but that was a that was a close... That was a chance. It's a good shot. I think I'm going to throw clear to the... Clear to the flanks. So, um... I expect to see a better showing. That's fine. Now, let's come here to tactics. And I think we'll keep the players we have in. Um, I don't see any need to change it. I don't have any super sub on the bench. Let's go team, team instruction. We're turn off, play out the, and we're going to clear it to flanks. Um, I did also, by the way, change um, quick distribution short kicks because I've discovered that Carlisle has a finish or has a first touch of six, and uh, De Heer has a has a first touch is actually okay at twelve, but neither of them was very good at it. I discovered this because we gave up two of those three goals by. Um, our defensive guys first touch being so poor it just rolled and then they didn't do anything and somebody just picked it up and scooped it in so um i decided to turn that off now we just boot it up to the to the target man <laughs> i figured that was easier in some cases we still do it quickly um for control and uh, attacking and on counter we did we took off the extra instruction so we had a chance they're unable to get to it they got ahead on it bergman just to corral it though 
Um, so we do throw it back into Berg. Back out to Dahlrun's got it. He takes a huge shot in, just about gets lucky with that, but it, it does stay a little bit wide. Um, but a couple shots, we're beginning to put shots up. Uh, but not a whole lot's happening. I'd like to see a little bit more about what's going on, so I think I'm going to knock this down to extended highlights. Dahir gets ahead on it, um, but they managed to save that out to get us another corner. That was a terrible one. Threw it in. I'm not sure where we're going, but they had a group of people. We had one, and he was surrounded, so that was just a bad a bad corner. Um, and even though we're on extended, well, for whatever reasons, when it comes to yellow cards, it just stops. You know, the time goes forward. I think it actually feels the need to actively run through the animation. Even though we're not showing it, I'm not quite sure why. Um, games would go a lot quicker if they get rid of that. There we go. Boot it way up to running. He's got it. He takes the shot. Oh, my gosh. Great shot. They push it aside. The best thing, though, is that this gives us corner kicks. Although, if we're just going to kick it straight to them without even attempting to get it to us, it's not going to matter. But what can we do? We don't have anybody with something better than a 17, so there we go. Helmvik gets it, kicks it off, and we get a throw in. I'm going to uh, demand more. There we go. helmvet has got a throw in right there in the corner. Over to Grieve. Grieve just takes a shot, just boots it over there. I think he was trying to lob it to somebody and just got a little too much on it. I doubt that was meant to be a shot, but hard to tell. We'll ask him after the match. Missed the tackle there. We get a head on it. Goes back out to Aber. There we go. Got that tackle. Beautiful defense there. Goes back out. They've got a guy standing there waiting, though. They haven't really committed to coming in. They are staying back quite a ways. Dahir puts it back. We do get it to Tevet. What does he do? He just takes it to the outside. Takes his time. Slows things down a little bit. Storis room comes on and takes it away from him, though. Just nobody else came up to support him. He tried to hold it up and give him time. It just wasn't going to happen. Maybe uh, we can't... Doesn't let us talk anymore. Nope. No longer allowed to coach. We've been booted out. There we go. Get creative, boys. I... All right. Rune's been bad. Seth hasn't been great. Let's put in Johansson. See if he can create. He has done some of that in the past. I don't know that he's really what I consider a super sub or, or hugely effective, but we got to make some attempt here. All right, Helmvet's got it, got it in. Over to Dolly, over to Rune, back out, over to Berg. Berg gets ahead on it, but Cla Clayson? Claus Clausen, I guess. Makes a great diving save to hang on to that one. They get another shot up. We've been good. Eight shots, six on target. Um, but like I say, it just seems like once we give up that first goal, it's all over. Um, and, you know, maybe we got to, if we were to stay here, maybe we'd look at mentality and try to figure that out. Um, and you can see our midfield has played very well despite all this. Sevens, I think I saw a 7 1 and a 7 3 in there as well. Um, but we just can't, once we give up that goal, that's it. And you guys are seeing all of the losses on the season, aren't you? Just about. You, at least you missed the 3-0 just ass-whooping. Um, yeah, and I think we just... I think it was just one of those days. That's what we're going to say. Because, you know, we clearly look like we were the better team. We just couldn't. We just couldn't get it to go in. Once we give up that first goal, it's all over. We just are incapable of coming back. Um, I didn't notice how many chances we had. Let's go match stats. Wish match stats took me to match stats. Um, we had two clear cut and one half chance. They had one half chance. Um, you know, we had six shots on target. We played really well. We just, this was that, just wasn't our lucky day. I mean, there's nothing more we can do. We, we had shots. We put those shots on target. We created chances. Some of those shots were longer, but they were still chances, you know. So we got eight corners, which is, you know, a strength of our team. Uh, did fine. Uh, pretty good in the air. Just couldn't win. That's a shame. All right. Well, like I say, we were still going to be up. 
Um, so we still control it. We've got Barum on the 13th. I'm going to go ahead. This went pretty fast. Let's see if we can get a win on record. I don't know that we can, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit continue a couple times, and we'll, we'll see if we can get the Barum match in. All right, welcome back, guys. It only took um, 14 minutes to get here, go through the week, so two, two minutes a day. Wasn't just hitting continue. I did mess around with tactics a tiny bit and also set up scouting for some uh, young players that were released. Um, but that was about it. This is what we're going to run with. This is our standard. This is the oldie but goodie. You can see this is where all our relationships are built. And we're going to do this. I, I considered playing with that attacking midfield option again. And this is why I didn't. Um, a team is has 12 uh, shutouts on the year so far in league play. The record is 13. So I'm not, even though this is a team that has does give up goals. In fact, they're the worst defense in the league. Or in the division anyway. Um I'm not as worried about scoring goals as I am about maintaining the shutout. At this point, even a 0-0 draw probably is more use for me trying to get a team than that than anything else because I've already turned down contract negotiations for next year. Um, I just did that in the middle of this week as well. And as you can see, we're pretty well safe. I mean, I said we needed 38 points to guarantee top half. Um, but we've got a seven-point lead on pours already. I mean, it's essentially down to these three where we finish up. Um, and we do have a goal differential right now. So if we, you know, as long as it's a win, even a one-all, one-nil win is great for us. That keeps us in third place. So I decided to just play it safe, play it consistent, go with what we've been going with. No real change. I have a setup to play our control. And I'm just going to hit continue. We're going to dive into this game. And hopefully we'll see a win on camera. Uh, we're the underdogs. We got nothing to lose. We know how good we are. Let's tell everyone else. I don't know why we're the underdogs, but okay. I mean, Bayroom is 13th in the league with the worst def and having conceded the most goals. I think that kind of makes us the favorites. I know it's on the road. I know we've been a little bit inconsistent, but... We have a goalkeeper with 12 shutouts. I mean, I think that gives us something here. All right, Solberg's got on the right. We haven't seen a lot of him. Dolly's there. Oh, nice header by Dolly. But Johansson is there to make the save. Uh, it essentially went right at him. And there we go. Game lost. Just that easy. Three minutes in, Hassel feeds it in. Sandness gets ahead on it. Our spectacular goalie that I was just talking up misses an easy, easy shot. And that's that. They get another one here to just complete the route. There's no way we're coming back from two down. No way. Everybody's back in the line. They put it over. I'm going to demand more. Well, you know what? The shutout's out. So let's go to tactics. I think we go inside forward on attack. We leave him as a winger on support. He stays on attack. No, let's move him. Let's move him. No, let's leave him as attack. What was he on? I bet you put him on Trey Carista. I bet you I missed that. So we're going to put him there. Dolly and Berg. We're moving up. Ball winning midfielder on support. Advanced playmaker on support. Attacking midfielder. On support. Something like that. Firm changes. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm on extended highlights because I said it last time. I forgot about it. Let's see if we can get something to happen here. I say we've never come back from this. So there's nothing to lose here. Um, Johansson, goal kick. Feeds it out to Skellum. Isengrum, Hassel. There we go. A team comes out and gets that one. 
Interestingly enough, my first name is actually Hassel, spelled differently than his. Um, more interesting is even though I do have Swedish ancestry, the name actually comes from um, the Irish side of the family. So, A team manages to hang on to that one as well. So we are giving up more shots here, but A team's keeping us in it. The question is, can we get more shots? Ronning's got it. Yes. So I smacked the mic. I'm sorry. Oh yes. There we go. We're back in this one. A team boots it up just like he's supposed to. The target man doesn't quite get there, but Dolly gets it the rest of the way to Ronning. He takes it in, does it the rest of the way himself. He had guys charging on either side of him. He could have easily passed that off and let them take the shot. But I think I would rather most of the time, one-on-one, -on -one, let him take that one. There we go. Back in this thing. Let's, let's give him some encouragement. I think we're... Oh, let's see what's going on. I was going to go back to control, but I think we'll wait to see what happens here. Dolly. Again, over the top to Ronnie. He's got it. Beats the goalie. Bounces it off the top post and in. There we go. 2-1. Um, I think I do move it back to control. We're not going to go too far down, but we'll go to control. Hopefully, we'll still keep the pressure on with a little bit less risk. David has this one. Yes. That's what we got him for. That's why we wanted a target man. Somebody, big man, we can throw the ball up to. A little bit of pace, hopefully, that can make some things happen. I wish wish the acceleration was a little bit better, like I said earlier. But um, get him going with a head of steam. That one they put over the net. Shots are equal at this point. Um, three of ours have been on target. We do have the yellow card for Grieve. Not much is happening. Looks like Skellum, is he going to pick up a card? Yes, he did. He did. And we got a shot on the edge of the box. Oh, Dolly just puts it over. He fouled, um, reading at the bottom, he actually uh, fouled running on that one. All right, Carlson's got it into Rune. Rune feeds it up to Dolly. Nice little pass through to Ronnie, who puts a shot on, but it's right at Johansson. I wish we'd come in a little bit more, but it was on target. I'm not going to argue too much. A-team puts that one forward again. Just trying to find somebody up front. They put it all the way back. Their guy was offsides, I think. Had to think about it a little bit. A little hard to keep track of who's who with everybody running around in their Bumblebee outfits today. Um, there we go. Managed to keep that one. Grieve feeds it forward. Oh, nice tackle by Peterson. Uh, but he... Oh, well, he does manage to get it to Sonnes. I thought we were going to take that one away. Mawa has that one. Feeds it out to Tefese. Hmm. Be nice to see if we worked a little harder for some of this out there. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh my gosh, Carlisle got the own goal. Oh, that's just gutted for him. Gutted. All right, we're, we're swapping him out, though. No, we're going to leave him in. I take it back. We're going to leave him in. He gave up the old goal. He was trying. He was almost in the right place. Let's see what happens at half. He hasn't played terribly 6-4. Carlson's been worse at a 6-3. If we're going to swap somebody, that should be who we swap probably. And he's got a yellow. That's what happens. I think we put Johan uh, in for him at half. Um, see if he can create something for us. Sandness manages to control that one again here. Come on. We can't give up another shot, another goal here right at halftime. That would just, that'd just be the end of us. Mawa. Ah, oh, Tefese right there, but A-Team has it. Well, like I say, we're not getting our shutout game today, but you're getting your money's worth on this one. All right. Can we get to halftime? Maybe. Free kick. Dolly goes down. Peterson tripped him. Peterson got a yellow, too. This guy's handing out yellows today. That's four before halftime. Maybe that'll slow him down. Skellum has a 5.9 on the day. Dressing room. Dig in. Give it all we got. They didn't obviously want to hear that, but... Oh, wait. So we're going to go to tactics here really fast. And uh, Carlson has not been good. So uh, we could put Herxdale in, too. But I think we go Johansson. Because he's created chances for us. Um, I think we just leave him like that. Everything else, I think, is okay. Start second half. 
Do we go back attack? Let's see what happens here on the, the, the opening. Probably nothing, but you never... There we go. I think we go back to attack. We got our goals on attack. Nothing happened except we gave up goals when we went back to control. I think we go back. We kicked it away. They, they kind of booted it down there out of the way. All right. That's us changing. What are they running? Um, Bay Room. They're still here in the 4411. Oh, I was going to say get creative, but we're already getting creative. We got a corner kick. We got it in. Berg just lets him have it. Just let him take it. In fact, it looked like he merged through him like he was a ghost. He just came through him and kicked it away. Carlisle gets ahead on that one over to Grieve. A little bit dangerous there. Can we get it cleared out of the, our side? Up, No, ruin. We did. Oh, there we go. Over to Ronnie. Can he make it happen? No, he can't. He can't. But this is going to get us another corner. That's really what we look for out of this. Dolly feeds it in. Carlisle gets... Oh, I was really hoping for Carlisle to get a little bit of uh, uh, redemption there with the header for the goal. Uh, Helmvet takes that one away. Johansson's at least playing better. Helmvet hasn't been great either. Rune's been terrible as well. Do we swap Rune? I don't really have anybody great to put in for Rune. Let's do it. Who are we going to put in for Rune? Um, we could put in Ingridson. He doesn't really want to play attacking mid. Do we have anybody else that can... Okay, so what we're going to do is, and this is probably really risky, we're going to put Hilma Sith in for Rune. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't know that that's going to help, but at this point, Rune's not getting it done. 6-3 is not going to win us this match. Let's see if Hilma Sith can do something. They've made a change as well. They got Skellum out there. He was just playing horrible. They kind of look like we do with a mix of good and bad. Um, you know, their striker only has a 6-3 despite the fact they've got two goals. But one of those is an own goal. All right, Johansson has the throw in into Berg. Comes back out to Johansson. He gets it into Grieve over to Dolly. Ends up with Solberg's feet. He takes the shot, but Johansson is on it. Johansson's played really well for them today. I mean, we've put six shots on goal. And he's been on it, so... Nothing. He almost said guts a yellow. Demand more. Let's see what we can get. The here picked up a knock. He's recovering, though. Hopefully he'll be okay. Nothing happening. Eh, we look calm. They look nervous, but... We're getting shots. We're up to 13 shots on target. Six on goal. We're just not able to break through. Two games in a row, we just can't break through. Four minutes out of time. we got lots out of time in this one. We've had four clear-cut chances in this one as well. I say we're creating chances in both of these games. We've played well. We just can't break through. Now... Whether it's their mental state being good, our mental state being bad, I have a feeling it's just, you know, this is us all season. Um, we just don't come from behind. We don't have the, the determination um, whether, you know, I think we've got good leadership on this team. Um, so is it determination? Is that the, is that the limiting factor on this team? I, I don't know. Um, but clearly we're unable to come back from this. Oh, and he just got red carded. Um, do we see what happens? Beat it over to Helm, Seth. Just kicks him. Just kicks him. Um, can I can I change my mentality? Oh no, because we're in that. Um, I think we just leave it on attack. I, I was thinking about overload, but we got three minutes to make something happen. They're down a man. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing's happening here. Hassel picked up a yellow. Is 
They're just wasting time back here. Because why not? Tefesi makes a run at it. Feeds it back to Hassel on the edge. We managed to get a foot on it, but that was that was it. That's the final whistle. Well, it was an exciting game. We have managed to keep our streak intact. We have yet to win a single match this season in which we did not score first. Um, unlucky tonight. And but we have we have created chances. Probably these two games are probably the most chances we've created all season, and we've got nothing to sh we've got a point. A point to show for it. That's it. Which is just kind of gutting because, you know, I get frustrated that the team just doesn't doesn't do that and that here they did. We had two good matches in a row where we created chances and uh and we just against ten men. They had ten men for injury time. That's a little bit um Dolly was great. Uh, I guess we'll tell him he was he was um, number and quality of chances. And uh, lost in these two matches is the fact that that Dolly's now playing an eight four two over the last five, eight four two and a seven five seven for the season, which is just spectacular. Ronning's been a seven four four overall with a seven five six for us. Uh, Monson a seven four. Carlisle seven zero six despite the own goal in that last match. We've got some good performances happening. Um, Whoops, Carlson is going to be out. So let's go ahead and put Herxdale in. We haven't got him enough playtime this season. Um, but we just couldn't get the win in either of those games, despite those spectacular individual performances. I think let's really quickly, let's take a look at um, attributes, mental, I think. Let's let's look at determination. Well, Dolly, Dahir, Monson, and A-Team. You know, um... That's kind of the end of our determination, but you can see here Herxdahl, a four, Helmvet a five, Ronning a six, which surprises me a little bit, but even even here in our strong middle, right? Um, you know, Ingbertson has a seven, Cole has an eight, Helmseth has a nine. You know, I don't know if that's it leadership wise. We're about the same for leadership. I'm sorry, that's Flair. Let's look at leadership. Um, leadership were better actually you know we've got a couple 17s in there you know we do have some leadership visions okay is it this is it concentration composure maybe a mix I I'm guessing it's probably a mix of composure determination and the fact that we just we can't we can't pay attention to what we're doing for an entire match so right there i i blame that on the mentals at the moment but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did give me a thumbs up if you hated it thumbs down love to think uh hear what you think leave me some comments uh people are watching the videos not a lot of people but i don't ever see comments on this the rim world guys are super super uh are super chatty which i love um the football manager guys not so much so leave me some comments let me know that you're you're breathing and uh don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more we'll see you next time cheers